I'm Nicolette. And I'm Caitlin. I'm Dave. And we're here with the Barry Calhoun Kalamazoo County's CISMA or Cooperative Invasive Species, Species Management, Management Area. Area. And we are here in Vicksburg today to actively manage a population of red swamp crayfish, which are invasive in Michigan. Red swamp crayfish are invasive worldwide and are generally introduced when people ship live crayfish from the south for food, for live bait, and for the pet trade. So the crayfish were discovered in Sunset Lake in 2017, which is right behind us, when a landowner thought he discovered a lobster in his yard. For the last several years, BCK SISMA has led the efforts to remove the invasive crayfish from the squatter system with partnership with Eagle, the Michigan DNR, and the Gun Lake tribe. Most of this funding for this project come from the Michigan Invasive Species Grant Program, which is funded through the Michigan DNR, the Department of Agriculture, MDARD, and Eagle. The sun is going down. The crayfish are coming out. We come out at night to manage these crayfish because crayfish are more active at night. They actually leave their burrows, making it much easier to find them at night. This species is a very prolific and harmful invasive species in Michigan and worldwide. They can create up to six foot deep burrows, can survive freezing, and adult females can lay up to 650 eggs at a time. Their deep burrows heavily erode water bodies and land near water bodies, and they take up a lot of space and nutrients that native species require to survive. You can find them at different sizes and colors. So this one you can see is very green, whereas the previous one I showed was a lot more dark red or kind of blue. Red swamp crayfish or Procamborus clarkii are native to the southern United States, but are invasive worldwide because they're pretty adaptable to different environments. Yep. To identify them, we look for a few different things. The first is this line here called the areola. It's the space between the two plates of the carapace and on red swamps it's closed. And this native you can see has a much wider gap or areola between its two plates. We will also look underneath the crayfish for the intestine line. On the red swamps it's very dark black blue in color. And on natives, it's usually a bit more clear or white, kind of gray in color, harder to see. Red swamp crayfish can be between three and six inches in length. They can get really big, as you can see here, why that one guy thought he found a lobster in his yard. They often have bright red uh, claws, especially the males. This is a female here. You can tell females apart from males if you look between this last set of legs you can see that this female has a gonopore and a male will have these L-shaped structures instead that are gonopods which are used in mating. You can tell if a male crayfish is sexually mature if it has hooks on its second and third pairs of legs. So you can see there whereas this one does not. So this is not a sexually mature male. We call this an M2 and this is an M1. To help the DNR better understand these crayfish and their populations across the state, we collect some data for them. So we will sex each crayfish that we find. So this crayfish was a female. You can tell by the gonopore down there. Then we also measure the carapace length of each crayfish. So you measure from the end of the rostrum to the end of the carapace, as you can see here. So this big lady was 68 millimeters in length. Just last year, personnel at the BCK SISMA, along with help from the Gun Lake Tribe and Michigan State University, caught over 600 crayfish from this small creek downstream from Sunset Lake. With the last few years of management in this area, the number of caught crayfish has steadily decreased from 900 crayfish in 2017 to 600 crayfish in 2022. 
While the goal with any invasive species is to fully eradicate them, red swamp crayfish in this area are really well established, and the more realistic goal now is to manage them to prevent them spreading further downstream to other fisheries.